Okay, here we're looking at naive T cells classified as either CD4 or CD8. You may have seen these images before, depending on what order you watch some of the videos I have posted under this channel, but we're going to explore these in a little bit more detail in this lecture series. So looking for CD4 and CD8 cells. These molecules are important because they regulate how the T cell will interact with and respond to an antigen-presenting cell. So that's abbreviated APC. APC, antigen presenting cell. We notice in this case, in particular, where cell to cell recognition is very important. Two populations of T cells have different mechanisms for immune protection. Both bind with MHC molecules via their antigen receptors called T cell receptors, typically abbreviated TCRs. So in this case, the TCR, the T cell receptors are the kind of the purple molecule here. Our antigen presenting cell are the green molecules here, and here's our antigens being presented on this cell. And this is going to lead us down either the CD4 pathway or the CD8 pathway, and we'll talk about each of those um, coming up here. So first off, the CD4 pathway. So these um, CD4 cells bind with APCs, antigen presenting cells, via their antigen embedding MHC2 molecules and are stimulated to become helper T cells. So these cells um, that go into and stimulate B cells or cytotoxic C cells directly or secrete cytokines to inform more in various target cells about the pathogenic threat. So what does this kind of block of text kind of look like in an image? Well, here we have our CD4 pathways that we're looking at. We have our um, T cell receptors here. We have our CD4. What this is allowing is an activated helper T cell. So when our CD4 helper T cell binds with MH2 complex, an antigen presenting cell, the antigen presenting cell and T cells now release our cytokines. In response to the cytokines, T cell clones itself. So in response to this, we're noticing one cell basically cloning itself going into two. These cloned T cells are produced different cytokines and activate either B cells and CD8 cells. And these can go about as being an integral part of the immune system. So what does our CD4 do? Well, there's binding that's very important in the immune system. They're then releasing a compound, causing T cells to clone itself. And from there, T cells are able to differentiate into the CD8 pathway and B cells. We're going to investigate in this lecture the CD8 to the next step. We're going to follow this cell along. So looking at the CD8, now what that does is that engages in antigen-embedded MHC1 molecules on the APCs, again, antigen-presenting cells, and are stimulated to become cytotoxic T cells. These are responsible for directly killing infected cells by apoptosis and emitting cytokines to amplify the immune response. So here's our CD8 binding and our cytotoxic um, T cell. When this interacts with the MH1 complex, the epitope complex, an infected cell, it produces um, these molecules here. These molecules are very important. These molecules go on now in our infected cell, because this cell basically has now either virus particles in it or is in some way compromised. Its expression is going to be slightly different, and the peripherins form the pores in the membrane. So we're looking at breaking apart this cell. By adding these kind of pores to the cell, we're able to break the cell down, lysing the cell. So remember, the cytotactic T cells are responsible for destroying this infected cell. We don't want the cell to be able to go on and spread these virus particles throughout the entire body. As a result, the cytotactic T cell is responsible for lysing or destroying that cell. Now the CD4 and CD8 cells, both are surface molecules and differentiate whether TCR will engage in MHC2 or MHC1 molecule. So here's our one and here's our two. As you may suspect, the two molecule has two here embedded and the MH class one only has one binded here. Because they assist in binding sp with specificity, the CD4 and CD8 molecules are described as co-receptors. So very important in our binding that occurs. Um, these are an integral part of the binding and recognition process of the immune system. 